so obviously we're here we're here to sing but um sometimes singing is something we overthink and overthinking mm -hmm. is never helpful because we all talk about the left hand brain and the right hand brain and the right hand brain is that bit where we're uh perhaps most engaged most creative and not overthinking but mm -hmm. what we tend to do is, is the exact opposite and we go into this bit of our brain and we worry and we overthink and that's thinking is overrated think, 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 think. well so this is the thing that i do a lot and when i first came to lessons with you uh -huh. this is what i would do all the time and you would tell me not to and then you got bored of telling me not to and you would just do stuff that stopped me from overthinking and yeah, after a exactly. while i felt comfortable enough with you to not overthink but I was really hooked on getting it right for a very long time. Well, I think we all like to get things right, and that, that sometimes is a, is a problem. Yeah. And like anything in life, we have to be prepared to to take a risk, and mm -hmm. part of getting better at anything is, is being prepared to get it wrong on, yes. on, on the way to being good. So we're, we're laying ourselves bare, effectively. Exactly. And we're not naturally comfortable with that. We're not wired, one might say to doing that. So one has to kind of no. learn how to do that. The danger of learning is we're immediately into overthinking mode. So if le learning feels like <laughs> learning, then we've created a barrier straight away sometimes. So, exactly. So that's what I loved about coming to see you for lessons, was it didn't feel like learning. Hurrah! When teaching, it didn't Hurrah. feel like learning. Well, and do you know what the biggest difference is between right hand brain, so creative, spontaneous, mm. present thinking. Yeah, I think it's just right brain. And, and, and overthinking and anxiety and worry. Do you know what the biggest difference is about what the creative brain does? The spontaneous brain. It's the spontaneous brain likes to think in visuals. It likes to think in, in images. Okay. So, so I, I might say to you, rather than get caught up in this little goldfish bowl of, of, oh my gosh, I must get this right. Oh my God, I'm going to be terrible. Instead, I'll say, you know, there's a mask on the wall over there. And I might say, right, focus on that mask. Yeah. So you're mentally there Sing to and, him. and not here. Yeah. And also, if you're singing a phrase, suppose we had a phrase like... <laughs> if we go in our heads, right, how's that going? So... <laughs> everything changes up. We go mathematical about it. We analyse the, the kind of, not sound waves, but the pitch yeah. frequencies. And we draw a mental shape. <laughs> then when we go high, for example, the message in our brain, our, our logical overthinking brain to our, our larynx is, well, that's hard, that goes high there. Mm -hmm. and Everything the, tends to and, and the larynx responds to that. Yeah, yeah. which I used to do all the time. I well, still do when well, I'm do. But yeah. you, if you reverse that thinking and turn it into an image, which is helpful. Yes. We go... Do, 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 do. So you always so, down. So it's in down onto a high note. Do, 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 do. Oh, that. But now try that towards the mask. So... Conscious and yeah. these figures are not exact, um, and forgetting that ninety-five percent of our thinking power is unconscious mm -hmm. or habit learned, habit formed, all that stuff that we do when we're less than two yes. before our conscious memories kick in. We absorb, I think, I think absorb. I think it's seventy percent of of our habit. So a lot, a lot of what we're doing in life 
to improve as people, never mind singers, just to be the best us possible, mm -hmm. is learning to unlearn the, stuff that's the, in the, there. the habits that were ingrained when we were very young. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's where thinking kicks in. And because we all want to do well at school and get good qualifications and get good careers, education teaches us that that's how it sort of should be I mean and we we get very right. very used to that yes. um and and, and that, that's going away from the idea of being spontaneous yes. but back the should I, that word the should. should oh where's that come from improvisation making up as you go along is, yeah. is the epitome of being spontaneous mm -hmm. and that 95 percent bit of our brains uh, is something we need to learn to trust because the five percent we're wired to make our 5% our conscious thinking challenge that and kind of rule the roost and, okay. and take over. So to, let me just sort of demonstrate. So if, if I take some chords. But the words and the notes, I didn't think about them at all. Yeah. I've learned to completely trust that. If we take the words away and just, you know. This is scary. Terrifying. That's very scary for some people because we immediately, well, for nearly everybody, yes. we go that, oh, oh my god. But if we bridge the gap between that little showing off moment, yeah, it um, was. Uh, it, it, it was well, not that brilliant, but it was definitely showing off. <laughs> but for most people, as we just said, that's terrifying. So, so how, scary. how do we bridge the gap from being uh, what I call concrete ISIS? So we go, no, no, no way. That, that, that. It's, it's, <laughs> nearly, it's nearly everybody okay. to to being free. Yeah. If we take something like this. So. around you okay and to you to get go with the feel of what, with what i'm doing without feeling you need to break away yet from okay. from the safety okay. of hey, do you want, do you those are learned albeit nonsense words but we know them so a nice 1940s vibe really lay it back just as you were doing here goes Do that. 